Hi, this is Brent with uh, Hot Jet USA. Today we want to go over the uh, Big Daddy Hot Jet Diesel. Um, tell you some of the features about it. Do a little walk around video. Um, we've got a, a powder coated uh, trailer here that's uh, built real well. Uh, really good tires and axles to handle all this weight. Uh, powder coated. We've got our uh, big diesel unit here. Um, before we get into much, we want to talk about safety. So you always want to make sure you got your gloves and safety glasses and good boots and, and clothes to wear. Keep yourself protected and all that. We've got our safety uh, book here, manuals. You want to make sure you go over all the different uh, safety stuff with all of your employees so you can get it down really good. We also have them on the inside of the toolbox here, so there's plenty of places for you to read it and be safe and take care of that. Um, we've got our diesel, our 18 gallon at 4,000 U-Door pump here. Um, we've got, runs on diesel, so you want to make sure that you use one or two gray diesel. You don't want any of the biodiesels in it. The uh, burners don't like that biodiesel. Um, here we've got our batteries up inside there, deep cycle battery. Um, if you're running it a lot, then it's fine. If it's going to be sitting, you'll want a trickle charger on there just to keep the battery up good and strong. Got our uh, inch and a quarter uh, filter inside there so you can change that out. You can uh, open that up and that will help to uh, bleed the air out so it'll get running good got um, our hoses it's double feed we've got a little uh, pulsator valve here so if you get stuck in there you can open that up and it'll hammer that and help you get it unstuck or your clog or what have you we've got our uh, temperature gauge right here when you're idling it down a little or running the smaller stuff you're gonna want to have that set 120 max so it don't get too hot cause too many problems with the hoses and burn you and things of that nature so you always want to make sure to have that set at 120 there we've got our uh, ball valves here two-way ball valve got your tank water right there shows the flow from there coming through if you want to antifreeze you're gonna flip that and now you're antifreezing you got your flow showing that this valve right here is only for when you want to work on it so you can shut the waters off so you can work on the pump or what have you. You're going to just flip that off like that. Other than that, you always want that open so you have your water flow going. Get that pulled around there. Got our uh, strobe light here for safety. Let's people know uh, that you're out there on the street got our safety our toolkit here with your different uh, nozzles pick sets got our two remotes um, these are a stinger that they call the stingers the different lengths and sizes so that if your hose if it's big enough pipe and it could turn and come back at you you want to have these stingers on there so it ain't gonna turn and come back out the hole at you so yeah we'll um, we got our 3 8 by 300 foot um, of hose here with your warthog there for that. Um, it's got the hot water um, hose on there. Got our power wash clean off hose down there. This is 500 foot a half inch. The big warthog on there for the great big jobs. It's also hydraulic. So we have our hydraulic running on, on this big reel here. This one's electric. Um, we've got our all our different lights here. And this is our valve system here. We've got it set really easy. You have your easy start valve. You want to have that in the open position that's running with the flow of the, of the pipe there. Um, that's always open when you start it. These others are all turned off. So when you fire it up, it's just going to flow back and, and uh, return back into the tank. Then you're, when you're ready to run it, then you'll flip that up and have them running. We have our soap back here also. 
So when you get your hose in there, crank that a little bit, it's going to draw your ho uh, cleaning uh, product down into the line there. Um, we got our pressure gauge here that will handle all three reels so you know your pressures that you want. Um, speed controls on both of the reels so you can control the in and out on it with the arms functioning. We've got our uh, throttle here so you pretty well just do everything right back here. You don't have to go up front. You just set your throttle there. Okay. So we got hydraulic control here and your flow that you can set. We've got our drain down here, easy pull drain here for draining the tank out. So you can just pop that out and drain that. This is our control panel here. It's got our light switches. We'll funk, turn the light on, all your different lights there. Um, bur manual burner switch to run manual. Um, we've got our remote. Got a little outlet here, a plug that you can plug in and charge your phone or run a, your uh, cameras or floodlights or what have you on there. That's cool with the, which, what the buttons do. While we're so <laughs> if you're going to do manual, you're just going to turn that and then you're going to hit your green button and it'll warm up and then it will fire up all by itself. So you're there it is. So now you're running. If you want to turn the burner on, then you, to run the burner, you're going to turn the burner on there. Otherwise, with your remote, you're going to flip the switch here. You're going to hit the auto button, and then you'll hit your remote button, and then it'll fire off, and your burner will fire off automatically. Which we'll run in a minute. Which we'll run in just a minute. All right. So let's continue to walk around. Make Safety sure cones. Air pressure in the tires. Check Shit. your lug nuts. That's all in the owner's manual. Okay. <clears throat> Got our hose savers. Ti a tiger tail hose saver helps to protect your hose when you get down in, uh, going down in your sharp edges or things like that. A small one, big one for the big unit there. We've got our soap over here, soap tank, feeds back to there, up into the tank, so you can put your different detergents in there. Um, this is the hydraulic tank here, so you can see your hydraulic level there. Make sure you have enough hydraulic in there to run that. Uh, your filters here, filter for your uh, burner unit that you'll change out when you service it. Make sure and check all your different... Uh, antifreeze and your radiator and your oil make sure all that's kept up and you can check on that before you run it a lot so that you know that it's uh, safe got Here's your, your engine, oil. engine oil you got a fuel filter right there and there's your oil filter right here air cleaners got a nice covered unit Plenty of tool space, toolbox space. Um, that should be about it. Next, next we'll go ahead and run it. Brent here with Hot Jet again. Uh, this part of the video, we're going to go ahead and run it for you and show you how to run it. Again, you want to make sure you got a full tank of water. Um, you got your thermostat here, thermostat set here for 120. Um, we've got it all gassed up and ready to go. Um, we got our valves turned on so we're functioning properly here. Got my remote here handy. Got my helper Mario here. It's going to help us run it. So we're going to go ahead and feed that out and put her in this. Run the we'll run the 3 8 We're going to go ahead and put that down in there. Make sure that if the pipe is bigger that you have your stinger on there. So I've got my easy start valve. Show them what the stinger is here. Show them the stinger there. So depending on the pipe diameter. Yep. So we, yeah, we won't need it right now. So we've got our uh, easy start valve in the open position, so it'll turn on. All these others are all in the off position, so when we fire it up, it'll just be bypassing. So we've got our remote here. 
we're gonna flip that switch there hit the auto button and then hit that button and it'll time and when it's ready to kick on it'll kick on got our throttle here so we're ready to go ahead and uh, turn her on gonna open up our line here and then we're gonna close our bypass I think, I think I would put it in the small one if I was you. That one's a little bit small for us there. Okay, back here again. Go ahead and turn our pressure up a little bit there. Like it's working better on this one. Go ahead and turn our burner on. See it kick in. There we're 3600. Take it floor real easy. you want to make sure and cool down the burner before you stop so we'll turn that off wait a couple minutes and it'll cool off and then you're safe to go ahead and shut her down so now we'll go ahead and open this up close this off idle down and then you'll be able to turn it off at that point if you want We'll go ahead and run the big one now. Well, let's put this hose away. Yep. Again, you can set your control. Okay. Again, the stinger, you need to put the stinger in the line. If you're... Okay, yep. My draw out. Yep. How's that? A little bit more? Probably right there is good. Okay, come back over here. We'll turn that up just a little bit. We're gonna turn on our reel there. Turn that on. got our hydraulic there feed it in we've cooled it down so we're able to shut it off when we're ready hit your kill button and it'll turn off for you make sure you turn your switch off so you don't run your battery down on there and that's pretty well it other than that so if you're in the cold weather and you need to do the antifreezing basically while the motor's running you're gonna have it out there you're gonna turn that to antifreeze and you're gonna idle it with your hose uh, end off and then when the antifreeze gets all the way to the end then you're covered from front to back with your antifreeze system and we run windshield washer fluid in there for the antifreeze system 
um, just put in whatever is in your area for the for the cold weather yeah, when windshield wash, fluid works windshield great. wash your fluid is really good we make it here also to different uh, temperatures so to winterize so. the line let's show him bringing around the, the nozzle so we took the nozzle off so there's no pressure so you let's go ahead and this line first, have say. it uh, You have your uh, antifreeze open up there so it's coming out. Have this closed off and have this opened up. And then when you run it, then it's going to come out there. When your antifreeze comes out to the end, then you're going to hurry and shut that one off. And you're going to do the same to this one here. Then uh, in the morning, when you're ready to fire it up, you'll come around with your hose. We're going to turn our tank back to regular. Then we're going to go ahead and fire it up and it will return your antifreeze back into the tank. When it clears up, pull it away and you've recaptured your antifreeze. Um, also, you can blow it out right there. Okay, also, sure there's a, a, right here there's a valve stem. You can go ahead and have your line open and hit the air chuck on there and it'll blow the water out of the uh, coil and everything so that it won't freeze up as bad. If you have to do any maintenance you can do that. If you get an airlock in there and, and it doesn't want to pump quite right, take the top of this filter off and that'll bleed the air out of it and help get it the pump, get the air out of the pump so it'll start pumping really good again. Um, so make sure you have the key turned off so you don't run your battery down. Make sure you are got your safety and everything, and thank you.